In this video, we will recreate famous weapons from computer games and more using LEGO bricks. Let's get started! So, let's start small. What does LEGO have to offer us? For the most part, LEGO does not produce accessories similar to real weapons, but we can still come across some of these. However, there is a role for gotten weapons or made up. Modern copies are not produced by LEGO, but third-party manufacturers have succeeded in this. NANI?! You can go wild for any taste. Pistols, machine guns, grenade launchers, even a minigun. These are all accessories that are simply decorative. There are variants that have a playful function. LEGO has a lot of them. Various blasters, crossbows, cannons and the like, which can really shoot. Mamma mia! But I think you can build more powerful models out of LEGO bricks. Let's not waste time and start by building a small gun. Let's get to assembly. This is what I got. Looks pretty cool. It fits comfortably in your hand. But that's not its main feature. To test it first, we need to charge it. To do this, we'll need a small LEGO bar, two pins long. We take out the magazine and insert the parts one by one. When the magazine is full, I insert it back into the gun. All that's left is to reload the bolt carrier, and we can test it. A dangerous gang of criminals is heading towards the city. We need to stop them. It works very well, quickly reloads and hits the target quite accurately. Of course, such devices should never be aimed at people or animals, so that no one will be harmed. What is the mechanism of its operation? Let's have a look at what's inside. Here is the construction, at the base of which is a spring taken from a LEGO shock absorber. When we pull the ball frame to the end, it touches the magazine catch, and due to the spring pressure from below, the improvised cartridge jumps up. At the same time, the fixing element of the trigger mechanism is raised, which does not allow the spring to straighten again. In this position, our LEGO gun is considered loaded until we pull the trigger. At that moment, the trigger mechanism will no longer hold back the spring, and it will straighten out in a flash, transferring all of the stored energy to the cartridge. This way, you can reload until the magazine is empty. Probably everyone has seen those videos on the internet where someone replicates reloading hordes from games using common household items. It looks pretty satisfying, but there's something to it. Why don't we do it again, but only Not using like Lego bricks and a newly assembled gun? Let's Bruh. do it! Oh. What do you think of the reloads? Let me know in the comments. I think it looks pretty similar. Let's do a more serious muzzle, like the Desert Eagle. Having found an interesting model on the internet, I started assembling it. This is what I got. It looks really cool. And it's not just a LEGO build, it functions. As you can see, when you pull the trigger, the ball frame moves, simulating recoil just like in the original. This LEGO gun shoots with the help of office rubber bands. To do this, you need to pull the frame back, tighten the rubber band in this way. Then scroll this part on itself to click, and again pull the rubber band, and so a few more times until we get a multi-shot rubber gun. Return the bolt frame back, and you can go to the LEGO shooting gallery. The rubber bands fly out lightning fast when the trigger is pulled. So how does the mechanism of this LEGO Desert Eagle work? Let's take a look. Inside here is the following mechanism, consisting of a set of moving elements that makes the ball frame move creating a blowback effect. The rubber band trigger mechanism looks like a spinning drum. When we pull the trigger, the position of the drum shifts, and the gray part scrolls, and the rubber band flies out in a flash. Also, in the design there is a makeshift magazine, so you can simulate reloading. Let's do it also oriented on computer games. Moving upwards, it's time to make a LEGO submachine gun. As a reference, I took the well-known model Mac 10 assembly time. It took me quite a long time to assemble this model. In the end I got this, it looks amazing. From a distance you can't tell it's made of LEGO. 
it even shoots, but you have to fill the magazine to do it. The same parts are used as in the first version as ammunition. Insert them inside where they are spring loaded with a stationary rubber band, pull the magazine back in. Now to start firing, you need to pull back the upper lever. Everything is ready. Unfortunately, the mechanism does not allow you to shoot like a machine gun, but it can fire a single shot. <coughs> So, what's going on inside there? Let's have a look at what's underneath the casing. The mechanism here is also similar to the first gun. Only here, the design is based on a stationary rubber band, and the cartridges are fed by a special mechanism that pushes the cartridges out of the magazine. Well, how can we not make a cool reload with this Mc10? Bruh. Bruh. Well, here we are at the point of assembling a whole LEGO machine gun. It took me more than 8 hours to build such a huge gun. In the end, I got the following result. The model has a working handle of the bolt, which is part of the firing mechanism. You'll soon see how it works. Also in the model, there is a detachable magazine. But it has no function except decorative, because the gun shoots rubber bands that are loaded after removing the top cover. The rubber bands are loaded in the following way, having loaded a sufficient number of rubber bands. You just need to press the trigger, and all the rubber bands should fly out of the mechanism one by one. But for some reason this mechanism didn't work for me. The chain reaction of rubber bands did not start, and I had to pull the bolt handle every time to shoot. It turned out to be more of a rifle than a machine gun. We are not satisfied with this result, so I decided to redesign the whole thing, taking a completely different mechanism as a basis. In this case, the mechanism will be electric, powered by a motor like this. I found the following mechanism on the internet, as it is it is not suitable for us, and we will need to make some changes to build it into the machine. After another full day of assembly, I managed to put together this model. The construction became more reliable and looks much better than the first version. <laughs> this machine is loaded with these parts. Here the magazine takes a full part in the operation of the rifle. We load it with cartridges. When the magazine is full, in one of the holes, you need to insert a cross-shaped axle so that the cartridges do not fly out prematurely. Insert the magazine into our LEGO assault rifle and pull out the previously inserted axle. Press the trigger, which presses the switch on the battery pack, thereby supplying power to the motor. And the machine starts spitting out rounds. Yeah, there is no other way to describe it. So how does the internal mechanism work? Let's have a look. When the motor is energized, it starts spinning, which starts the mechanism. It works like this. The rotation pulls the rubber band, which when it reaches a certain position, collapses, and the piston attached to it strikes the cartridge, making it fly out, out of the muzzle at a certain speed. Let's try to simulate the reloading, just like in games where such a machine gun takes part. Well, that's all for now. Links to the assembly of models from this video will be in the description. If you replicate them, don't forget about safety. Put a like on the video if you want more videos like this. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!